Okay, go ahead and pump it. Once the milk gets flowing, go ahead and stop pumping. It'll just keep going. You don't have to wait for it to stop. Just go ahead and it slows down a little bit. Give it a couple more pumps. Pick up the vacuum and then let it sit there and watch the milk run. Working just like it's supposed to. We'll just have to bear with us for a little bit. Once you get that milk started, go ahead and give it a couple of pumps, Chris. Once you get the milk flow started, then quit pumping. You don't have to sit there and keep pumping. As the vacuum goes down, give it two or three more pumps. You pick it back up, and that's the way it works. We've got so many ladies using this and people with carpal tunnel, fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, lymphedema. We've got one lady that had all her lymph glands cut out. Her arm, left arm is really, really large, so she can only milk with her right one. I had to overnight her some parts in uh, just before I left Lexington the other day. She lives in Montana because uh, they were having somebody else milk the, milk the uh, goats for them, and she had to have those parts. This cow hasn't been... This cow is normally milked with hand, by hand. So these are real gentle milkers. Hey, like oh. We're going to go ahead and pull some colostrum on this cow this morning. And we'll do it with the hand milker first, and then we're going to put the electric milker on her. Once you get the vacuum set, just quit, quit pumping. When the flow goes down, then you can give, give it a couple more pumps and we'll pick it back up. Your own. The classroom's going in there. I'm pulling colostrum. This calf was just born a half an hour ago. And I tip it back and release it. The very next step, I'll just take it out of the, undo the bottle, put in the nipple. This baby has not nursed yet. about 160 cc's or 8 ounces. We're going to get this clock yeah. saved immediately. Very good show. Got to lift you off. I'm going to go mm. ahead and put some more iodine on his navel. Uh. Use a bull cap. We're going to use the 
18 ounce bottle this time. Ounce bottle. Once you get the pumping, the milk or the colostrum flow started, quit pumping, then you just slows down, pick it up again. You see how fast that's filling? Probably, I would think around 10 seconds or less here. And we've got 18 ounces of colostrum. I tip the bottle back, it comes right off the teeth. And uh, I'll give this baby another shot of colostrum also. Couple of them. The other cow, we're pretty sure she's with calf. It's a quart bottle. This colostrum is so thick and because she hasn't had any relief from this bag whatsoever. Her bag is really hot. We're giving her medicine I got from the veterinarians as soon as we get done here. You can see it's working on its own. Because it's a quart bottle, it'll fill a little bit slower than you obviously your eight ounce in your pint bottle. Vacuum's just working on itself. Doesn't need any batteries or electricity. Okay, pan over to that cap. Little guy's really happy we're gonna start getting her some real nice milk to drink here as soon as we get this mastitis and stuff out of this out of this cow. <laughs> Okay, we're backing up, so I'll just release it. We don't want to get milk into the pump. And we've got a full quart of colostrum. The major difference in this bag now, we've gotten, went ahead and pulled all that milk out of her and a lot of the uh, mastitis. So you can readily see how much that's went down compared to this morning when we started on her. So we're getting there. 